yes, 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 Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana, yes. There is a growing political war in Uda. <laughs> a cold war is brewing. And it's no longer a cold war, but it's now coming out as a full-blown war, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday, Uda chairman Johnston Mudama posted something through his Facebook account <laughs> that literally opens the lid as to what might be happening behind the scenes in Uda. Johnston Mudama, through his Facebook post yesterday, was trying to warn William Ruto against Pep Party, Moses Curia's Pep Party. And he told Ruto pretty well that if Ruto is not careful, then Pep Party might just overtake Uda in Mount Kenya. And then to negotiate with Pep <laughs> will be very, very expensive. That's Johnston Muthama's post yesterday warning William Ruto against Pep. Johnston Muthama is Oda's national chairman. Let me read for you what Johnson Muzama posted yesterday for you and me to understand one another better. Because that's going to form the core, or rather the basis, of our discussion today. This is what Johnson Muzama posted yesterday, about 10 hours ago as I speak. If Fruto will not be careful, Pep will overtake Oda in Mount Kenya, and it will be very expensive to negotiate with Pep. That's Johnston Muthama's post yesterday, warning Ruto to be careful with the Pep party of Moses Korea. We know, ladies and gentlemen, that there is a by-election looming in Kiamba constituency, a by-election. And so far, Moses Korea has fielded a candidate there. And then Uda on Friday also fielded their candidate there. It simply means, ladies and gentlemen, that it's now no longer <laughs> a friendly fire. This is a war. Moses Korea and Uda are battling it out. And they're really battling it out. They are going to compete there <laughs> with Jubilee for the seat. And then in Juja constituency, Moses Kuria went ahead of Uda and identified the most popular candidate in that area, Koimburi. And now before Uda could realize, Moses Kuria already had the best candidate in Juja. So Uda could not find a suitable candidate and they, let, they had to let it go. And even in Kiamba constituency, ladies and gentlemen, I strongly feel that Moses Kuria <laughs> overtake or rather outsmarted Uda there. Moses Kuria immediately, a by-election was declared there, went ahead and identified a very, very strong candidate. And as I talk, I strongly believe that Moses Kuria's candidate is among, or rather one of the strongest candidates for that by-election. So they are just going to square it. Uda, Pep of Moses Kuria and Jubilee Party of our president, Uru Kenyatta. So, Muthama is actually warning Ruto to be careful with Pep. Because we know for quite some time, Moses Kuria has been fielding candidates in Mount Kenya through his Pep Party. And he has been winning, while Uda, he has been locking Uda out of that area. And sometimes back, ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto was meeting Mount Kenya leaders. Uh, this was when they were talking about negotiation. And William Ruto made it clear to Moses Kuria and Mwangi Kiunjuri to fold their political parties and join Oda. The duo refused. Moses Kuria refused and Mwangi Kiunjuri refused. They refused to fold their political parties. And Mwangi Kiunjuri made that very clear when he was hosted at, at, at a show, a Kiriribi show in, at Inoro, in Inoro TV. He made it very clear that he could not fold his service party and join Uda simply because he doesn't know where Ruto is taking the region. That was Mwangi Kiunjuri. And now Moses Kuria 
is also fielding candidates with its paper party. <laughs> and interestingly, interestingly, ladies and gentlemen, on Friday, when Uda Party handed uh, its nomination certificate to their candidate, Wanjiku Wanjuguna, to contest for the Kiamba parliamentary seat, Moses Kure gave the meeting a wide berth. And that was a very clear signal that Moses Kuria, as much as he's working with William Ruto, he, he, he is also trying to build his own political brand. Because, ladies and gentlemen, Moses Kuria comes from Gatundu South constituency. Our president also comes from Gatundu South constituency. And Moses Kuria, if I look at it carefully, Moses Kuria at the back of his mind, maybe is trying to position himself to, bo to go back to the Uhuru Kenyatta Falls. So he's trying to come up with his own political party that eventually as 2022 politics will start, then he will be at liberty to easily negotiate with Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, as opposed to when he's in Uda party. Mm -hmm. You know, as of now, he's trying to position himself as his own man so that he can be free or rather at liberty to negotiate with any side of the political divide. And I strongly believe that's what William Ruto does not want. William Ruto does not want eh, any politician associated with him to have a political party, spe specifically from Mount Kenya. Because Ruto knows him being a smart politician, I know he knows pretty well that our politics is local. Assuming now Moses Kuria emerges with his own political party, and also Mwangi Kimjuri emerges with his own political party, then the people from the mountain, before they see Ruto, they will be seeing Moses Kuria. And for them, to, they, you will find them now joining Moses Kuria's pep party, as this may be support William Ruto. Something like that, ladies and gentlemen. And that is what Johnson Mudama is warning Ruto. And I know even before Johnson Mudama wants Ruto, William Ruto already knows that. So Pep Party is actually a pawn in the flesh for Uda Party. And uh, this thing, ladies and gentlemen, I've always maintained in this YouTube channel that all this talk of William Ruto having votes on the mountain, that is just a myth. And I still repeat it today. That's just a myth. Moses Kuria and William Ruto, the support they are still enjoying on the mountain, it's a borrowed support. It's a support that will not live to translate into real votes in 2022. I strongly believe that. Because as of now, our politics is not yet charged. When our politics will be charged properly, the people of the mountain will just be reminded that they have one of their own. And that's how this group of Tanga Tanga from Mount Kenya will get the going very hard for them. And I strongly believe that's what maybe Moses Kuria might have realized. And he wants to stand on his own political party so that he will easily negotiate with the Uru side. Mm -hmm. I strongly believe that can be a very good reason. And also, we know that, ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto of late has been has been a man under siege. The few left members of parliament from Mount Kenya who are still allied to him some weeks ago gave him some condition. And they made it very clear that they gave some conditions on which Ruto must fulfill so that they can work with him. And also they made it clear that that does not stop them from also working with other politicians who might also want the region support. That was a condition that they could not give some times back. Mm. That only shows, ladies and gentlemen, that the ground might be slowly but surely sh shifting from William Ruto. So that's, that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. In case you've bumped on this YouTube channel for the very first time, tap on the subscription button and also on the notification bell in order to receive a notification anytime we upload a new video. In this YouTube channel, we upload two videos per day every day. In order not to miss any of our two videos per day, make sure you tap on the subscription button and also on the notification bell in order to receive a notification 
anytime we upload a new video. And for those watching us for the very first time and you are outside of Kenya, drop a comment and let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. And for all those who are watching us, also subscribe if you have not subscribed. Leave a comment and also kindly give this video a like. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana. Tamu sana.